Oh, crap, I couldn't put that on his forehead. Are we still on the air? Better signal though right now. I don't, I don't know. No, I don't know what it's on. <laughs> I turned off my Wi-Fi on my personal phone. Sometimes that helps. Just going right off the initial signal. Have we tried that yet? Yes. That's how I started. Oh. Yeah. So, I don't know if you want to put microphones on and... Or we can wait two minutes. At this point, I just feel like... Well, let's, let's try it though. Let's try it. Huh? Let's try it. Oh, let's try it. Just to see. And if, see if the mic doesn't do it. Yeah, if it changes it at all. Or. Wait till the next uh, stop. Let's go, boys! Even two on two. You get nothing there? I don't know. These guys, I was watching that game before us. All right, we're back on the air for now. We're gonna see if a different signal works here. Nice job by Burn getting that to the net. So we will have a nice cut in another minute, probably. So we're just testing out this new method of signal. <clears throat> Ryder Vargas leaves it behind the net for Braden Burn. Back and comes across. And now up to Vargas. Nice break out there. Up to the top, up the stick of Fabry, and collected by a goaltender for Cleveland. 904 left in the first. When do we get cuts or, and actually the second period? Tier one. Tier one's I can't remember which what what's what, but <laughs> eight, one's eight, nine eight. and one's eight. <laughs> <laughs> I think tier one is eight. We are in the second period, though, right? Yeah, we have Correct. to. You know, the period doesn't show up on the board there. So, three men back for Fox Motors here. Nolan O'Brien back in the corner. Carter Dominowski and Lafeer helping him out. Now, here comes Travis Lafeer up the right hand side over the red line into the Cleveland zone. Trying to give it up top to O'Brien, but just out of his reach. Um, Nolan O'Brien puts the brakes on behind his own net. 
keeps the puck and looking for a long pass with Lawson. Lawson to Glentz. Picked up by Boucher in the neutral zone. So Fox Motor showing some good possession skills, just trying to get a good uh, shot here. Boucher cuts harder than that and just held off from a good scoring chance there. Give him the old uh, rope a dope a little bit. He lowered like he that shoulder. Like he's going to hold up. He moved the puck. He can move fast. Hey, kind of hard hey, to get hey. Good break up there. And Travis Lafear, now he comes. Or no, that's Lawson. I'm sorry, Thaden Lawson. Pulls up to the blue line. Snaps one. And love saved by Karen's goaltender. We will get a nice cut here as the buzzer goes off. And the players leave the bench. So. Hopefully this signal's working better. We'll we'll give this a whirl for the second half. This is where it gets a little wonky. Should I try to go get anything else?
What's that? How much of the broadcast do you think I should know? <laughs> I have, I mean, I record it also. Well, so I can put it up later. It's just a pain in the butt. Yeah. I mean, it's like the signal's good right now, and it has been since. I was gonna see if you could if you think the signal's any better or good. I'm on live too, so 
Now you are. I'm on the phone with tech support here. Or, uh, yeah, I'm on my. Signal's so good. Rob, how's the popcorn? Oh, okay. Is it? Oh, now you, my voice is on TV. Okay, cool. Thanks, bro. Thanks, thanks for tech support. Oh, is it? Okay. All right. See ya. All right, I got the okay from the technology department back home. We're looking like we can maybe pull this off. I don't know. I'm going to go uh, solo here. Vargas is going to work this camera and try to keep the signal going. He's just got too many jobs to try to do uh, the color as well. So we're going to. I tried to, like, I wondered if it was the signal or the, the microphones, maybe dragon signal. I tried them both on during the, so it worked fine. Okay. We'll see. We're good right do you, now. Oh, do you need a mic? No, okay. Okay. So we still have a 1 0 game with an ice cut. I got to say, the ice quality from up here looks terrible. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know if the, no, no, I don't no, know. No. It's probably hard to see that at home, but this is one of the worst ice surfaces I've seen in a while. And it was, and it got snowy fast. Yeah. I wonder that, you know, with this rink getting so much use, they probably have a maintenance schedule where they got to shave it down quite often or build it back up. I don't know. All right, here we go. We got Luke Lazaro taking this draw in the Cleveland zone. Five on five hockey here. Let's drop the puck for the second half. Cleveland Barons now behind their net are going to set up. And then we're off. And we're back on. Okay. So I don't know if the signal is any better. I'll just keep talking. We're okay right now. Oh, you're right. You must have seen people coming in. Yeah, all these cell phone signals going everywhere. Lawson leaves it for O'Brien. Backhands it to Noble off the board. Now sends it to Lawson in the middle. Aiden Lawson jumps over a stick. He's got to defend a two-on-one now. The puck just absolutely died in the crease because of the water. So maybe that was good luck for Fox Motors there as the puck was not sliding at all. He seems, looks like he's okay. That's that's Barta there with all that speed going into the net. <laughs> Got Boucher with the puck here in neutral zone, sends it in deep. <clears throat> Picked up by Glentz and the far board sends it up top to Boucher. Kept in. Kept in nicely there by Cornelli. Comes Boucher with a big hit and behind the board. So Boucher puts a big hit on Carson Joy there. And now the puck all the way down into the Fox zone. Sent up top to Boucher. He's got Bernier with him. Gives it to him. Back to Boucher. Back to the middle. Shot by Miller, just deflected by the goalie's pads there. And now turning on the boards, Glenn gives it back to Miller. All the way back around the net to Bernier. Now Bernier going to send this one back around behind the net. Nice use of the body there by Vanderus. And Bernier not able to get to that puck to keep it in. He's got his feet moving, gives it to Travis Lafere. Now down the right-hand side goes Lafere. He's got it one on one guy to beat. Trips over something. Oh, off the post for uh, Van Roos. 
found himself a gift in the high slot and rings it up the post. Couple great chances there for Fox. And now the puck being played up top by Cleveland. <coughs> Yeah, Carter Dominowski trying to slip this one to Lafeer. Not able to find him now. Working in the corner is Ryder Vargas. He's going to take a forehand up to Dominowski. Gets up to Lafeer. Got a three on two. Potentially, yes. Over to Dominowski. Back through the crease to nobody. <clears throat> Good positioning by Lundeborg as he squeezes the pads. To save that one. Four thirty four to go, second period. Here at the Super Rink in Blaine, Minnesota. Fox Motors now. Landon Carper sends it to Backen. Back and off the skate of a Cleveland Baron. Deflected and eventually goalie's gonna dive on that to cover it up. <laughs> He's getting a workout. As Post made a couple saves, maybe. Drew Fabry or Fabry. Maybe he takes the draw and trying to hold it in is Lawson, but just sneaks over his stick. <clears throat> also going to send this one back behind the net. On the way to Fabry. Fabry now looking to backhand it out of trouble. And back and retreats into his zone. Gives it back to Nolan O'Brien. O'Brien over to Lawson. Back to O'Brien. Not sure what Fox is doing here, but we can't get it out of the zone, Greg. All right, all the way down the ice now uh, into the Cleveland zone. Into the Cleveland bench goes the puck. We'll have a center ice faceoff. There you go. We got uh, Lafier winning this draw forward, kicks it to himself. Then intercepted, picked up by Bernier back in his zone. Off the board to Lafeer. Now Cleveland trying to play it out of the zone. And Noble fighting to win that puck back. Eventually broke it up by Bernier. And Lafeer trying to weave through. Does Luke Lazaro. Gives it to Lafeer in the right hand corner of the ring. Cabernet retreats back in his zone with the puck. Up top to Lafeer. Cornelli now with a good pick up here. Sends a shot in. Love save. We'll get a face off. In the Cleveland zone. <clears throat> Diving uh, breakup attempts there by Braden Byrne. Gets this puck over to Owen Boucher. Boucher, a hard on pass up to Robbie Glentz. Right on his tape, and a couple of Baron players there break that play up. Now Boucher on his forehand. 
behind the net, sends a backhand to the slot area. Not able to get out of anybody's stick there. Good break up by Ryder Vargas. Plays the puck down into the corner. Boucher again with the puck. Sends a flying pass to run in the tape of Glentz. Now Miller battling on the boards. Cleveland comes out with this puck. Noel O'Brien sends a hard pass around the rink all the way to Boucher. Boucher now into the zone with some speed. And just loses that one. No icing as that puck is deflected back into the Fox zone. Good maneuver there by Van Der Roos. He gives it to Miller. Back towards Van Der Roos and in behind the Cleveland net. One minute left in the second. Pretty good action here. No penalties, no stoppages yet in this second half of play. Another sloppy pass there and didn't get out of the zone. Now we got picked up by Vanderus. Hard off the boards and deflected up into the bench. <clears throat> Got my carpenter here. <clears throat> and back towards backing. Go back into the Fox zone again. Picking this one free is Fabry gives it to Backen. Or Carpenter. And that'll do it for the second period. Still a one-nothing game. Tight one here. At rank number two in Blaine, Minnesota. <clears throat> Not sure how many times the signal dumped out there, but probably a few, huh? Hopefully this is the only rink we're playing. Game, uh, rink two is the only time we play here, maybe. Oh, we do. Damn well, Here we go, Bradley back and must steal some uh, Officer Glenn's popcorn. Glove save, Lundeborg off, deflected off his glove. Now high off the glass and out of the zone. He comes back and...
Break up there by the defender, Bernier. Now Thomas Cornelli trying to reach and and a good break up in front in the high slot area by Bernier. He goes off for a change. Offside is the call here for Cleveland. Boys doing a nice job recovering on some of the turnovers and the bad bounces of the puck. It's kind of going both ways. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of turnovers each way. Neutral zone battle here. Picked up here, though, and into this zone is Lafere. That's a high, wide shot in. Under the backhand of Lafere. He turns the corner. He's got some speed. Comes into the middle. Shot high and wide again, up into the netting this time. So Trav trying to get that shot going. That snap of that stick uh, sends that one high and wide. <clears throat> Owen Boucher. He's going to be out there with Miller and Glentz. Tapped into the zone by Robbie Glenn. Boucher back to pick this one up. Giving to Miller and back to Boucher. Boucher to Miller. Back to Boucher. Kick. And we got a goal. Good goal by Robbie Glenn. Follows up on a rebound of shot by Boucher. And Glentz buries that one. That, that line right there, Greg, has been on fire. So the line of uh, Glentz, Boucher, and Miller really getting the job done here today. Well, you know, just, like, as they keep getting chances, I mean, that's, that's the key. They can't stay out forever, right? Yep. <laughs> No, they can't. But it's really been clicking. Got to get the other lines going. This would be a good line to get going here. Carp, Backen, and uh, Fabry would be a good line to get going as they often work so hard. Thomas Cornelli picking this puck up in the corner, sends it over to the other corner to Bernier. Through the legs and onto the stick of Faber. Now Faber to back in, makes a quick move. Back and trying to put it in the net, just bowls right over the goaltender. And now he gets a couple hits in the back. So Cleveland might have taken a little exception to that play by Backen. And Backen does get a penalty for that. So I felt like he was trying to sort out the puck on the way. That's what I feel. He was, he was kind of on his forehand backhand. He's trying to make a last-minute move and really nowhere for him to go. But in any case, you can't run the goalie over. Yeah. So we'll get a Cleveland Baron power play with 14.05 left in the third period. Puck held in by Cleveland now. Defense trying to lift this one out of the zone and does. Played back into the zone by the Barons. 
Nice deflection by Ryder Vargas causes a turnover and now out of the zone. Dominowski takes a look, decides to retreat back, and eventually played in by Byrne. Nice play to put it on net, though, to avoid the icing call. Vanderus and Carpenter out there with Bernier and Thomas Cornelli. Cornelli breaks one up in front of the net. Now sends it all the way around the board. Barons race to get to that puck and barely uh, keep it on side. Good save. Run aboard. Diving onto that puck after he makes the initial save. Pouncing on it, rather. Not diving. He stayed on his knees. <clears throat> so Luke Vanderus to take this draw. Cleveland Baron wins it back to the blue line. Trying to set up a play here. He got 50 seconds left. Good pressure. We could have a shorthanded attempt, but couldn't get the puck up to Luke. Or that was Carpenter, actually. He could have got the puck up. Yeah, Carp was lurking up there. Good play again. Carpenter swings that puck out of the zone. Still got a 2 nothing score here. 20 seconds left in Cleveland's power play. Mason Noble breaking that play up along the right-hand board. Now sends a hard pass all the way around. Kept in by Cleveland. Out of the zone. Here comes a breakaway chance by Travis Lafier. Then the right-hand side. He sends a puck in. He scores. So a little shorthanded goal here by Lafier. Puts Fox Motors up. 3-0. The play by Noble... Actually, to wrap that one so hard around the boards was what set that whole play up for Lafere. So Mason Noble really doing a good job on the penalty kill and wrapping that one around his own end boards to create that opportunity. Still got four seconds left. Get that shoddy. <clears throat> Bargy out there collects this puck. Barda backhands one through the crease picked up by Lafere on the far board feathers it up towards Miller but just out of his reach kind of full strength we got a turnover here comes Mason Noble Noble in on the forehand got a good save by the Cleveland's goaltender there with a the glove save holds it out to show the referee that that thing was in his glove yeah <laughs> it is sweet it, it kind of is it's like a catcher when they when the catcher frames that yeah that, shows that. where the pitch was you know trying to make it look like it was a strike every time. Here we go, Fox Motors now playing some defense. O'Brien bumps his men up, and now we get a diving. Cover up by Lena Borg. He dives on that puck that's loose in the crease. Lawson absolutely harassing his man. Boucher gets bumped off the puck. You don't see that happen very often. So now Owen Lundeborg playing that puck smartly behind his net to Boucher. Taps it up towards Glentz just off his stick. O'Brien trying to get that one up towards Boucher. Back to O'Brien. Now eventually one here by... Is that... Looks like Fabry. Yeah, it is Fabry. Fabry backing. And O'Brien now sends that one in deep. We got Carpenter out there with Fabry and backing. Bernier and Cornelli on the D.
puck turned over for the moment, now collected by Cleveland and sends it to the middle of the ice. Barron sent it in deep, going to chase this one down. Good hard shot by Barron's player, and then uh, Lundeborg able to glove that one. <coughs> Out of the zone goes the puck. Turned over. Just tapped out of the zone. Now here comes Cleveland into the Fox zone. All over him is Robbie Glenn's. Let's find a pass though. Shot wide. Puck comes all the way out of the zone. Trying to chase that down Zdominowski. Lundeborg settles it down behind his net. Plays it over to the sideboard. <clears throat> Picked up by Bernier and on his skate. On his stick now. He stick handles one through on his backhand to his forehand. And sends it to the corner. Picked up by Lafear. Another couple toe drag moves, turns with it. Got Lafear looking. Shot deflected in there. Now Cleveland trying to turn it over again. Just off the stick of Lafear in the high slot area. Regrouping now is Fox Motors. Boy, that didn't look right. Yeah. So, offsides here, the call. One by Fox Motors. Burn sends it in towards the net. Cleveland gains the zone. Puck sent in to the far corner by the Barons. Oh, to the other corner. First one of this is going to be Ryder Miller. He gives it to Vargas. Luke Luzaro actually now onto the stick of Boucher, drops it for Lafear, sends a shot in. Had saved by Cleveland's goalie. Back to Aiden Lawson. Lawson looking, finds Vargas. Nice little play there to get the puck to Boucher. <clears throat> Boucher leaves a pass that goes all the way out of the zone. Now O'Brien's going to play this. Owen O'Brien now safely out of the zone. Cross ice pass. Tracked down by Boucher. Boucher just bullying, <laughs> bullying his way to that puck sometimes. He's done that quite a few times. Yeah, he's, he's being a bully today on the ice. Good drop pass by Boucher right to Miller. Miller attempting to toe drag and just loses the puck. <clears throat> Now here comes Aiden Lawson turning on his forehand. He gains the blue line. Leaves it for Boucher. Nice maneuver there by Boosh. Trying to get it back to Miller. Now Miller behind the net. Another hit by Boosh. Makes his man turn the puck over again. Ryder Miller. Good poke by Cornelli to keep that puck in the zone. <clears throat> Yeah, Cleveland will just eventually ice that one. So the, the amount of pressure that shift caused, just Cleveland trying to get a change. Okay. <laughs> It'd be funny if all of a sudden you get like the best signal ever. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> All right, Cornelli taps it in deep. Oh, 
Out come the Cleveland Barons here. Hard pass over to Barda, who's coming down the right-hand side. Carpenter tied up. Back enough on the puck behind Cleveland net. And coming out with the puck is Thomas Cornelli. Carpenter takes a hit in the neutral zone, but picked up by Bernier. Trying to tap that one over. Now eventually going to get this puck to Boucher in the neutral zone. Owen Boucher puts on the brakes. Gives it back to Ryder Vargas. Tap away from Vargas, and now Braden Byrne will race down to pick this one. Good positioning by Lundeborg there to stay on that post. So we got a, still got a 3 nothing game, 542 left in the third. Fox Motors coming out of the zone. Ryder Vargas. Puck played back in the zone now. Lundeborg will leave this one for Byrne. Around the wall of Dominowski and eventually to Ryder. Ryder better hurry. He's got a couple guys harassing him. <clears throat> now Cleveland does win the puck. Shot in is real wide. And so played up to Owen Boucher now. Boucher's got a few Baron players there to make him turn back. Aiden Lawson retreats behind his net. Going to get something going here with Lafeer with some speed. Good dangle there by Lafeer. Gets all the way into the Cleveland zone now. Gets a shot that's deflected. Sitting there for a minute, but then played out of the danger with Cleveland Barons. Nolan O'Brien behind his net. He'll get one going here. And he takes it all the way to the Cleveland zone. A lot of coast-to-coast -coast action going on here. <clears throat> no one sends it back from the sphere into the corner. And that puck's going to deflect off of... Looks like Mason Noble deflected that. Yeah, I hope he's okay. I think he's shaking it off. So into the netting with 4.03 left. Well, here's the, here's this has been the line that's been the most dangerous out here right now. Let's see if they can uh, get something going. Boucher, Glantz, and Miller. Behind the net, Bernier picks this one up. Backhands it over to Glentz. Robbie Glentz now gets a little bit of speed going, gives it to Bernier. Pass up and just out of the reach of Glentz now. He sends it over to Boucher. Boucher gets it in the Cleveland zone on the right-hand board. Looking for Cornelli up top. Cornelli gets a shot on pad save by Cleveland's goaltender there. Jumping over that puck was Robbie Glentz to let that shot all the way through. Oh, it looks like Thomas is just trying to get it to the net, maybe get a deflection. Oh, was I shaking the camera? <laughs> Pass over to Vargas. He's got a shooting there lane and deflected by Carpenter in front. Uh, now a between the leg pass by Fabry. Trying to find Carpenter. Still working down hard low. Out comes Cleveland. Right down the middle, trying to bust through Burn and uh, Vargas. It wasn't going to happen. Burn gets hit in the back there, but no call. <clears throat> and here comes Bradley Backen. He backhands that into the Cleveland zone. Trying to center one. Backen does center it right to Fabry. Trying to get it over to Lawson. 
And battle in front of the net and no goal or, or no shot. Big battle in front of that net. <coughs> 225 left now. Nice glove save. Picked it out of the air with Owen Lundeborg. Like a pop fly out to the outfield. Look like that one. <clears throat> Big, uh, Save there by Lundeborg. I could hear the pads working. Now I get to paddle up there. Cleveland working hard trying to get on the board. Fox working hard trying to keep him off the board. Another save by Lundeborg as he covers that one up with a minute 57 left in the third. <clears throat> You know, I'm wondering, what if we shot from closer to the entrance over there where the signal's better? I mean, it's not always ideal, but at least 